In this tutorial, we're going to explain how Photo VCov projects can be imported and added to both Aspire and VCov Pro designs. We're going to show how a simple plaque, such as the one that we have here designed in the two dimensional view, can be used as a, as a template. And then we import different Photo VCov projects and finally calculate and preview the different toolpath options inside VCov Pro or Aspire. We're going to start the project with a, a VCov Pro or an Aspire project that's already got some vectors laid out. If we look at the toolpath tab in the three dimensional view, we've also calculated some toolpaths to engrave the text, to add a, a decorative border, and to actually finally cut the piece out. So if we just preview all of those toolpaths for the moment, so preview, this shows us the, the decoration that we're going to engrave and the text that we're going to engrave onto this plaque. And finally cut it out so if we say delete the waste material that leaves us with the finished plaque if we go back to the two-dimensional view so toggle back to the two two-dimensional view we could use the option to tile the views uh, horizontally so here we've got the two-dimensional vectors and the three-dimensional plaque underneath if we start photo vcarve now so photo vcarve here we've got a, a photograph of a, a little boy uh, that we've got opened. We've actually modified this image using uh, Photoshop or a Coral Draw or a paint package. We've painted the background away with this solid yellow color. I'm going to say make the background transparent, click on the yellow and that's gone. What this does is it means that the Photo VCarv engraving toolpath will now be limited inside the silhouette of the child's face. If we now go to set the material size, the material size is quite important. Here we're setting it to be six inches and it's automatically going to scale the height to be the same. So six by about seven and three, uh, five and three quarter inches. This is the size that we wish to engrave the photograph of the child inside VCarve Pro or Aspire. We set the material thickness to be an eighth of an inch with Z0 on the material surface and apply. Next, set the cutting parameters. Here we're going to select the tool to engrave this, we recommend using a, a 60 degree engraving bit with a very fine point on it. We're going to cut the engrave the depth for the, the photograph to say 40 thousandths deep and we'll have a 120% step over. Calculate the toolpath. So Photo VCarv has automatically created a toolpath for us there and we're now going to take this data and import it into back into our, our existing VCarve Pro project. So if we say file, save as, so file, save as, give this file a name. So here we'll say baby boy six by six, we'll say yes. Let's go and open the photograph for the baby girl. So here we've got the, the baby girl project. If we look at the photograph, switch off the background color for a moment, We've done the same thing. We've painted around the baby, the baby's silhouette with this solid color blue. If we then say make the blue transparent, like so, we go through the same process. Let's make this six by six inches. Same, it doesn't really matter about the material thickness. But we will make it the same. So eighth of an inch and apply. So calculate the cutting parameters. Let's make this 40 thousandths deep as well. Calculate. And that calculates the, the, the engraved photograph for us. So we're going to save this project. So file, save as. We'll make this baby girl 6x6. Six six, overwrite that file. Now, if we just had photo VCarv, we could now go on to say preview and save the toolpaths. So we could select the post processor. So let's say we've got a G-code based control system. We could save the toolpaths and run them on the machine. But that's not what we're going to do here. Just going to close Photo VCarve for a moment, go back into VCarve Pro. Remember, this could also be Aspire. We're going to go to the Import uh, File option, so File Import. Here we've got the option to import the usual vector data, but we can also just import Photo VCarve files. So here we've got the image or the Photo VCarve file for the baby boy. Import this. You'll see in the two dimensional view. 
that the the photograph or the the grayscale representing representation appears as it was machined inside photo vcar if we click twice on the little on the photograph we can now click and drag and move the silhouette or the, the preview image to where we want it in the two-dimensional view you'll notice as we move this so if we move it to the right hand side here the toolpath is also moving in the three-dimensional view let's import the the other photo vcarve project so the baby girl again this comes in, in the bottom left hand corner click twice click and drag with the left mouse button position where we want this photograph to go and we'd like it to go there just on the left now, I think it would be nice if the the little boy was facing the little girl so I'm going to just click move it slightly to the right click and we can use the the mirror options so mirror I'm just going to say mirror flip horizontally and you'll see that as I did that the, the grayscale image moved flipped to the left but the toolpath also flipped if we flip it back again notice the way the toolpath flips with the with the preview okay so we've imported the photo vcar files this is actually imported just the toolpath data if we now swap from the drawing tab on the la left to the toolpath tab on the right if we maximize by double clicking on this view you'll see we've got the toolpaths there we can preview these toolpaths so preview toolpath for the baby boy so preview select the baby girl and preview that toolpath So very quick and easy to take the results or the files from a photo vcarve project import them into vcarve pro or into aspire move the move the data around so that it sits on a plaque or it's in the right position relative to other toolpaths and once you've done that you can then save so save save each of the toolpaths select the post processor select them all in turn and the all of the toolpath data will be relative to the original origin the original XY origin on your original project I hope that's interesting and you found the project useful thank you